Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Overland Garage and well, you probably guessed it, but today we're going to be trying to work on these seats and I've heard of a product called Rit Dye and we're going to change these seats black. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. Stick around. Thanks for watching Overland Garage. So the product we're using is this RIT dye and um, supposedly you're supposed to be able to dye fabric with this and most people use them for like t-shirts and such. But we're going to try to dye these seats. I've already started a test panel and uh, Jessica is actually going to be helping me do this today so I'll probably do a lot of the filming. But uh, it's supposed to be used with vinegar and a little bit of soap and but the first thing you want to make sure is you want to clean these seats down real good and um, I've already done that and so I'm going to show you the before and then we'll talk about it and then we'll look at it afterwards and hopefully this comes out black because you know I don't want to buy new seat covers but let's get into it. thing we're gonna do is I got this WD-40 bottle and this is really nice for doing this because you know nobody wants to oh do that that's what we didn't want to happen but you know it's nice you can just fill it up easily and anyways she's gonna start spraying this and I'm gonna try to get some good camera angles for you but I wanted to get her involved in some of our video series so we're just spray all this fabric area and then we'll see what happens now don't spray in one spot, you want to kind of stay in a, yeah, kind of like that. Just keep going back and forth and make sure it's all even. Well, it's going to take more than one coat. I'm 
you want to stay further back from the that's why I was doing that quick so as Jessica is spraying seats and she's being way more pickier than I am but uh, I'm gonna talk about the product a little bit um, this writ dye I kind of briefly mentioned it, but uh, let's move you guys back so you can actually see what's going on here. So what I was saying is this stuff is supposed to be mixed with vinegar, and the reason it's supposed to be mixed with vinegar is because Moderna vinegar too. The reason is Modena vinegar, Pollock of Italy, look at that. Anyways. It's because the vinegar is an adhesion promoter and if you don't mix the vinegar in, I've watched a couple of videos and what I've noticed with those guys is they didn't mix the vinegar in and they washed the seats afterward and the dye came right out because the vinegar is like a chemical reaction with the dye and it keeps the dye in the fabric. So make sure that you put some, I don't go crazy with this, but just put enough like maybe a quarter inch in the bottom of the spray bottle. Are there black specks all over my thing? No, you're good. <laughs> and then, uh, and then you'll put the dye in. And I, what I've been doing for this is because I'm putting it on really thick, as I've been putting half the bottle in each bottle of stuff that I mix. And then you are gonna want to boil water at 140 degrees. And then that's the only way this stuff sticks. So she's doing a great job, which is good for me because I don't have to do this today. And uh, I think the seats are going to look really good. Now, obviously, I'm going to right see this right here. This hasn't been painted. So afterwards, I'm going to probably take some acetone and clean off the dye. And then I'm going to tape this off. And then I'm going to paint that. But um, the back seats, I want to probably going to get some more of this product and dye those again. And probably this will be done a couple of times just to make sure that the dye really soaks right in. But she's going to keep doing this, and then we'll catch up with you in a little bit. So I think they, they came out pretty good. And uh, if you haven't, this is, this is Jessica. This is my wife. And she was able to do all of this so I could get you guys some good content. And um, I will check in with you guys in a couple of days. I'm going to throw a plug into my Instagram. I'll probably put some pictures there for you. And um, this writ dye is actually supposed to be used for t-shirt material. But um, I've heard that it's really good for doing seats. So we'll check it out and see what happens in a couple of days. It's supposed to rain later on today or tomorrow. And I might leave these out and see if the dye washes out. But uh, keep watching our channel. We just received 350 subscribers. And that's only by your support. So keep telling your friends, family, and uh, giving us a thumbs up, liking our content. Give us some content suggestions. If you guys have used this product before and you had negative results, good results, or if I did something wrong, let me know and uh, throw a comment down there. And uh, until next time, this has been Overland Garage. And hopefully soon we'll be getting out there and doing some overlanding. So continue to build and explore. And thanks for watching today.